we're at Gerald Guitars with DJ. He's going to tell us all about them. Look how beautiful. Hi, DJ. Hey, how you what doing? you got going on over here? We got a whole lot going on here. These are just beautiful. The inlay, the paint jobs. Tell us a little about what they're made out of and what, you, what kind of hardware, what you got in those things. Absolutely. Well, we have a custom shop out in Shanghai and basically we produce around 50 instruments a month, very, very low production numbers, and everything you see is handcrafted with the best of the African tone woods and American hardware. We use uh, GraphTech nuts, Tone Pro bridges, Seymour Duncan electronics, Spruzel tuner heads, the best of the best, and we uh, assemble them there with some African tone woods. Yeah, they're just beautiful. Who's the artist on there? Can we see the back of it? I know the Absolutely. back of it is gorgeous. Let me take that down for you. Look at this. Philip Jarrell actually shot a photo shoot in the Chinese bamboo forest, and these are actual models. So we took the pictures and photoshopped them and had a special screening process and screened it onto the guitar. So it's actually laminated on? It's actually laminated wow. onto the guitar. So that's going to last forever, right? That's going to last for absolutely ever. That's amazing. Let's see the front inlay. It's so pretty. I'm going to turn it sideways, folks. Sorry about this, but it'll all work out in the end, I promise. And all that gold hardware just makes it sparkly. That's beautiful. Here's a nice blonde one. That guy there is uh, spruce top mahogany back. We like to work a lot with African tone woods such as Babinga and uh, Purple Heart. We work I really love closely Purple with Heart. Seymour Duncan to get our electronics just right. We're big fans of Seymour Duncan. We you can are. see our interview with MJ, the custom pickup winder at barefootmusicnews.com. Can't go wrong with Seymour Duncan. No, you How many cannot. shapes do you have? We actually have one shape, but we do different things with that shape. We have a semi-hollow version of that shape, a chambered version, and then the solid body. But what we've actually spent a lot of time researching and getting into is matching the pickups with the right wood, because the actual tonal variation of the pickup are accented and accentuated through the woods that you use. So a lot of people just think you can throw whatever pickup into whatever guitar. That's not the case. In order to get the pickup working to its best, you actually need to mate it with the right kind of wood. This is where Seymour Duncan shines, is it not? Absolutely. He makes an amazing pickup. And now you have some acoustics too. Let's Absolutely. get a look at one of these. Solid Sitka Spruce top, African rosewood back and sides, and mahogany neck with ebony fretboard. And look at these little extra details that just make it nice. The only thing that makes it better is the fact that it sounds fantastic. Now these are gorgeous. Talk to me about a price point. Uh, we started around 900 to the customer with a hard shell case. Less hard than a thousand dollars with the hard shell case. With a hard shell case. That's impressive, my friend. Let me get the logo in there. Less than a thousand dollars with a case for a handmade guitar. For a handmade and custom. I'm actually going to show you one of our cases because oh, these are, are beautiful. Cool. Let's see it. This is our base case, and they worked their way up to around 27. And man, you can throw that thing out of a plane. You can. In fact, we fly Air Canada with it. And since they're going to be watching this, I'm sorry, guys, you suck with our guitars. <laughs> and, uh, just a beautiful case. Look at that. Let's pop them open. You got two little... Two little compartments to put all your stuff in. Keep your guitar, your beautiful new guitar from getting scratched up. Absolutely. I think you're just the felt, the handle, your attention to detail is refreshing. You know I, I like that in the company. Our, our company policy is giving the artist the little bit extra. Everything from strap lock standard, so marble strap locks, to the fact that we actually give you a gig bag with your hard shell case so you don't scratch up your hard shell case. So now wait, let's remind what we said before. This is less than a thousand dollars. Less hard than shell th case. With a soft shell case on top, shell case. on top of that, yeah. So do you throw in a strap and picks and an amp too? Or <laughs> we gotta buy something, I guess. I guess we have to it's purchase true. something. You know what we figure if your case looks that beautiful, you don't want it scratched up. So throw a scratch. bag over top throw of it. Throw a bag over it. Now look, we've got a whole line of other stuff I didn't even know you had. I knew you were a guitar company, but what do we got going on over here? We have a full line of studio mics, a lot of very awesome, awesome studio mics. We're testing them all over uh, studios in LA, and everyone who's had an opportunity to use them is giving us awesome, awesome reviews. And these are also, I would imagine, reasonably priced. Absolutely. Well, it's funny because uh, all of our uh, all of our studio guys are, are shocked 
because these mics are comparable with the around six thousand dollar mics, and I'm not going to use anyone's name. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 no, I meant. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, they're they're actually uh, roof price of fifteen hundred, and for an all tube mic, and that's unheard of that's in this industry. Of. That's incredible. All Swedish interior parts. Yeah, the let's best say. The best. Slide on over here. We've got more colors and shapes. And look, I found a base. We actually have a, uh, a full line of bases. We're trying to get out there. Babinga, usually Purple Heart. And that one there is a mahogany base with a wood veneer. Here's a beautiful wood grain. Again, Duncan Electronics. Can't go wrong there. Attack and Tone Pro. We use all the best of the best. And look at this. There's an amp that goes Ooh, with it. What do you know? Full line of amps as well. We have a couple of 15 watt heads. Uh, this one here actually has an attenuation switch. We have a 50 watt, a 30 watt combo. And There's we have a tubes in there. There Can are tubes them? in there. The best part is, is that goes for around 550 to the customer. Wow. And we have our little combos. Little mini stack kicking over there. Oh, 15 that's watt cute. head with our mini stack. Celestian speakers inside. A bass amp. There's a big old bass amp. And that little guy there is cool. He's battery powered, so you charge him up. And if you ever want to go camping or street busking, oh man, you to plug him in, you charge him up, and you got around three hours worth of battery life. There's three hours. How much can you make with a hat in three hours at the park these days? I don't even remember. I, I don't even know, but that's what you bring an, uh, bring an acoustic to. Do you make an acoustic amp by any chance? Uh, no, we do not. Not yet. Look, not yet. I like tuned. that way of thinking. Stay tuned. I like that way of thinking. So you can tell Joe Guitars is thinking about you. They're making good stuff, and it's just gorgeous. And DJ was here, and he told us all about it, NAM 2011. So how do you feel about being a Barefoot Music News I, with I you? enjoy not wearing shoes. All right. Because I am from Canada, so I only own wool socks. Beautiful. <laughs> Well, I that's as close as we got to Barefoot today, I think. Thank you so much, DJ. Enjoy BarefootMusicNews.com.